What up, Front Chill fam? And welcome to this very special edition of I Got Next. Um, not streamed initially, uh, pre recorded. Uh, we're calling this one for now Hyrule Homies. Um, I have had Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in my Switch for over a year now. Uh, and I have not started it up past turning it on and like doing the wake up scene because a friend of mine was like, dude, I want to watch you experience it for the first time. And I was like, bro, I got you. We're going to do it. And then I also made sort of a promise that before I did that, I would do Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask as a lead up, uh, original N64 version. And uh, life be crazy. You know, this whole 2020 has gone way more than 365 days. Um, so, <laughs> finally got around to getting started. So join me as I flip the switch on this ancient Nintendo 64, my original one. And we're going to dive into that sweet ocarina music. Here we go. of mine actually back in high school we actually used my nintendo and this cartridge as part of a gaming competition tournament where we preloaded up to the water temple um, and then we had competitions to see who could complete the epona race fastest uh, to whittle out uh, the first seat, and then the last two contenders would have the best time completing the water temple. And whoever could beat the water temple fastest got our grand prize of, I think there was a gift card and uh, like a, a copy of a, I think it was like Devil May Cry was a like 
Legacy or like was it Classic at that point? So we got it for twenty bucks. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna pick in this last one. You know, because I did it earlier back when I was younger, um, and I feel like that's gonna be great for this because watching people, watching the NPCs call you dude. Dude's gonna ride. Here we go. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. Because, kids, they didn't have voiceovers in early games. So, the children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to pronounce however I pronounce things, so sorry if it's wrong. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Feels rude. <laughs> Guess he's having nightmares. So let's get going right now. Silent protagonist nod. Yay! Yay! We can run in circles now. Yay! What's this say? Doesn't say anything. What am I putting away? Just 
Anyway, so that's there's nothing important in here. This is your house. Some things end up there. Kiri Forest. As if you didn't know you were there already. Who that? You're not even a real man. Rude, I didn't think you were a man. I thought we were like little cocaine or something. What? Okay. What? You got a fairy? Say what? The great Deku tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the great Mido? Who's the great Mido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. What do you mean? How do you think you're going to help the great Deku tree without both a sword and a shield ready? Very like martial way to approach the world, man. But whatever. What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but if you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Sheesh. Um. Spoilers. His name's Mido. He was referring to himself in the third person by calling himself Drake, which I think is. Alright, so we're gonna cheat a little bit. Well, not cheat, like I've played this game. Oh, wow. So, there's a couple ways to do this. I, I want to say there's a way to, like, get a shield. For free, I forget how, so I'm not even gonna remember it because you just buy the shield. In the shop here, you can go on. Go go in the direction you want to jump and leap on that. Hop around, so you become happier. Yeah, because money equals happiness, right? That's how it works, right? Street racers. So yeah, the, the, there's a little shop over there where that girl was sitting on the, on the little ledge out in front of the middle of nowhere, and they sell a shield for like 30 or 50, 30 or 50 rupees, which are the little coins, and uh, not exactly screw rupees, but like, like I said, I've played the game before. So, I know where all the important stuff is, at least most of the... I don't have it all in my mind. Oh, this giant rock. That's the thing making that noise, you gotta run through it. Or else, it gets you. Alright, so yeah, ooh, look, it's a box! Oh, here we go. Yes. Visit the house of the know-it-all brothers to get answers to all your questions. I 
thought I actually said something about it too much, but we'll see. <laughs> treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight it. Mm -hmm. So you don't kill yourself. Or die. Uh -huh. right. Do -do -do -do. Got it equip. Oh, he's got a sword. Look, kids. Remember when you used to have to, like, save in games? Oh, good times. Alright. Yeah! Found a sword. I don't know. Found it on the ground. And I don't know that song. I'm just waiting for it. Alright, follow the run. Back out. Yay! Oh, right! Money! Woo! Ah! Yay! The rich bitch. Alright. <clears throat> Extreme rear end close up. Tradition, the Zelda game. Chopping weeds. Yes. And you can also murder signs. Alright, physics engines. Oh, exquisite. Technically, tumbling is the fastest movement speed in the game. Walkthroughs and runs where it's just tumble attack the whole way through and home do that. That's weird and kind of annoying. So, pretty sure that the shield is 10. So, I'm just gonna. Or sorry, the shield is 50, so I'm gonna get that extra 10. <clears throat> Do that. Alright, four more. Let's go. Look this way. 
Look over here. With Z and Pucky. Hey. Alright, so let's see who's targeting. Yes, yes, that's how you use a fairy. Is that, is that what the fairy is for? It's so great that you finally have a fairy card. I mean, I, yeah, I guess it's a big deal. Teach you how to talk to people using a fairy. I mean, I think it's kind of a My fairy flies near a person, I think, but I see the in that direction. If you use any target, you can talk to people from a distance. Like what you're doing. If you have nothing that you can target, you can proceed. Just talk to them. Try it. Here we go. <laughs> Forgot about that. Problems, bro? Welcome. Look at all this wood, all these fine craft handcrafted items, you don't think so can make home you a Maybe it's a matter of pride. Anyway. Oh, a shield! Oh, it is for you. Sweet. That's my chicken. Weapon combo. Check it out. Sword and shield. I didn't have to use it. It wasn't good day. Alright. Something might open. If you want to say the great duck of trick, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Hey, what's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief. Thanks, Rabbit. Right well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? Great. I, the great Mido. No, see, there you go. I will never accept you as one of us. Wow, way to be able to Shoot, how'd you get to be the favorite of Saria and the great Deku tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. Oh. Pick it all. Pick the green anime hair, who's obviously a lot of love interest. Um, that's Saria. Alright, real quick. We're gonna pause, we're gonna save. And we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. Okay. Uh, turn down the audio a little bit because you can barely hear me over it. I'm also having this fun thing where I'm not getting any audio. <clears throat> uh, I might try to put in Deku stick. Found a stick and I found it on the ground. <coughs> I'm gonna wave it all around. Um, yeah, these. If they, uh, if you run into them, they hurt. There's some other ones that do other things. Oh, okay, here we go. Great Deku tree, I'm back. Oh no, why hast thou returned? I hate thee. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. I forgot that's actually what he said. Dude, welcome. Dude, nice to be here. <coughs> Listen carefully to what I, the great Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. I slumber these past moons. I must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Dude, the time has come to test thy courage. Dude, I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? No. Perhaps you do not yet have confidence in your abilities. Return to the Kokiri Forest to learn the skills of combat. But now art ready. Return here and speak with me by using Z. Alright, come back. There we go. Trigger. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. <laughs> Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Yeah. <laughs> Enter, brave dude. And thou too, Navi. 
before that went delicious and that would need a dry rub. Anyway, Malfi the fairy, that almost ate dude. He talks without, I mean, I, get, I mean, he was talking before without a mouth, so. And dude, when Navi speaks, use up arrow to listen well to her words of wisdom and to get her to shut up. Okay, so I just go in your mouth. Is that, feels weird. Is it your mouth? Is it your crotch? Is it your legs? Is it your, is it your belly button? I don't understand tree anatomy divine tree anatomy i guess all right <clears throat> so all right so like i said i know where everything is so <clears throat> sorry we're gonna get straight to it and i keep trying to run when there is no run it's just straight up do the things <clears throat> look at this wall Vines growing on it, give it a rough for a surface. Maybe you can climb it, dude. Dude, dude I can. First, I'm open this box. What's in the box? It's a map. It's a map. It's a map. Okay. Going over here. In this room. Listen. You can open a door by standing in front of it and pressing A. Pay attention to what the action icon says. That's the blue icon at the top of the screen. Yep. You got it, dude. But I need to Spikes! A thing! A Deku scrub. It will hide in the grass if you get close to it. Bounce the nuts, it spits back at it. All right, so <laughs> get him. Oh wow, wow! Forgive me, master. If I give you a clue, will you let me go? I mean, I guess. When you jump off a high cliff and hold forward, you will roll on the ground when you land, and it won't get and you won't get hurt from the fall. If only that worked in real life. I can't guarantee it will work though. If the cliff is really, really high. <laughs> Jerk. Well, try it if you're feeling bold. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna go through this door. And there's some other bullshit in this door. Okay, so I know what this does. Items for violence! Yeah! The fairy slingshot. Hell yeah. Deco seeds. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna equip that. <clears throat> Comes with a full pouch. Fairy slingshot. Yeah, I might as well say it while I'm here. <coughs> okay, up we go. Ooh, another box. Blink. What's in the box? Something I didn't need. Very cool. And we're going to see if I can open it. Nice. Although I didn't need it, because I remembered this thing. And whoop. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba. That dude's gone.
right? They're Skulltulas. They're called Skulltulas. These skeleton spiders have money inside. Because Zelda's like D&D. Everything's a pinata. Uh, check out the big ones. So, big Skulltula. It's soft belly. Yeah, we'll get into that. But first, door number one. Locked behind me. Tight. This is a timed event. You gotta run and do something to get to the other side. Yeah. <clears throat> Open the box. What is it? It's a compass. So now you can see the locations of many hidden things in the dungeon. Because why wouldn't they be on the map? But whatever. Alright, we're so gonna hop down here. This thing happens. Pull this out and... And you gotta wait for the soft underbelly. Get ready. Ooh, triple mugs. This one. These are called Deku Babas. Sometimes, sometimes it feels like it doesn't. Pop this open. Nice. Alright, now, you might notice, no Z-targeting, but it makes the scritchy scritchy. Check it out. You destroyed a gold skull, Tula. Got a token proven you destroyed it. What do those do, though? We'll find out. Alright, so there's a thing. There's a thing. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and... It looks like that torch was burning not too long ago. Really? You're pretty astute. Oh, jumped off again. Uh, I swear I've played this before. Alright, <clears throat> so what you do is you line it up and you go and it catches on fire. And you do the wiggity wiggity. And, it, and then you whip out your sword real quick. Because that's how you get a stick to last forever. One. I thought there were two doors. But no, apparently not. Let's see the okay. Yep, okay. Alright. <laughs> and... Yeah! Alright, now. The reason I've gathered you here today is for... Big jump! Alright, so what you do is you jump out a little and then you Alright. Get you enough lift to 
get to it. All right. Look, a box. Cool. Didn't need that. All right, now there's a lot of spider web over there, so let's go. Woo -woo -woo. And a little ledge here, so that I don't oop, land in the thing. And then and whip out the sword real stick real quick to make a sword last forever. To make a stick last forever. All right, I'm gonna save real quick. It's getting dark. Getting real dark, big guy. So I'm gonna turn on light real quick. Because it's the middle of winter when I'm starting this. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, Alright, on we go. Upward and onward. Please forgive me, Master. Ch -ch -ch -ch. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. What? You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. Nice. The order is two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. Do you think I'm a traitor? I think they changed this for the DS version. Like it was a different order. Um, so I want to say I've seen walkthroughs where it was different, but apparently this is the same for every N64 game. So, that's cool. Playing, you don't know where is it. How do you get into the water? If you hold down A, you can dive. I bet there are some interesting things in the water. Yeah, thanks, Bobby. Yeah. So, if you run along the thing on the thing, the spike gets you, and after that, you gotta touch the thing. So it goes low. And you get on the thing and hope that. Oh, no, no. I think it goes. Alright, well, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if we know. Alright, right, we're gonna wait. So it comes back. Oh, well, actually, I probably would have made it. <laughs> Part of the trouble is, is I can't hear the timer ticking off, so I've just got to, like, trust it. So, alright, and... Okay. The water come down. Go back to the inside. Oh, no, I missed it. But, it looks like there was more than enough time to get across, so... Wait for it to come back. Oh, 
here, let me let me show you one of them so you at least see what it is. Go, my larva! Look out when it gets ready to pounce! Whatever, bro, I got your number. <clears throat> Them include fire. <laughs> bravo, sir, bravo. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can't get in there. There's a thing that's necessary for that. But that's cool. <clears throat> I go fire. And run 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 run. Run 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 before it goes out. And yeah. We may or may not come back to that. I don't honestly remember what's in there. And I don't think it's that cool. Since I don't remember what's in there. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so, you might notice this space. From somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And, but this is... There's no high spot to jump from. Because it's a thing. And so I guess we got the thing. Now. We're gonna do it. No. Ocean blocks is how puzzles work in this game. I'd say there was a couple puzzles that were like hard, but most of them are like you just gotta recognize the context clues. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. And then. secret of Queen Goma, do you? In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Coup de Gracie. Oh, Queenie, sorry about that. So hard to find good help these days. Alright, take that heart back that they got me in. There have been a couple times where this fight just went too long, so... We're going to try and not have that happen, but just in case, I'm going to save right there. And, ooh, big scary room. Ow! 
Let's go. Let's get weird. Let's see if this lets me get away with this. Forget sometimes. No. Go rose. But you know, like I don't it's weird. The heart container, maximum life energy. So increase by one heart, your life energy will be totally filled. Do -do -do -do. That's cool. Um I've never been brave enough to not pick those up. I think there's like runs where you don't get any where you just have three hearts and that's I'm like, no, don't why would why would you do that? <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Well done, dude. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell thee. Wouldst thou listen? Yes. Now listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. The fire and flames. Ooh, lightning. Very cool. Real vibe. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorceress powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. Hyrule's this land. For it is in the sacred realm that one will find the divine relic of the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Is it tasty? Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended from the chaos that was Hyrule. Descended. Oh, one. Okay, yeah. Din, the goddess of fire. Oh, sorry, power. Din, goddess of power. Nairu, the goddess of wisdom. Veror, the goddess of courage. Remember, this is how I pronounce my own house. I, some, I might remember how some things are pronounced and correct myself, but we'll see. Oh, damn, they dropped the nuke. Lump us down, lump us down. Oh, well, it's an asteroid field. You gotta watch out for those things that eat ships. Din. With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated land and created the red earth. She lived and grew. Meru poured her wisdom into the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Law sucks. Not law. I mean, never mind. I'm not going to get into it. Law is a construct we all agree to. Feyror, with her rich soil, with her rich soil. Soul produced all life forms who would uphold those laws. That's a weird thing. And then they said, Peace, bitches, I'm out. The three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. And the golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of the world's providence. And the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred. Is this like conceptually? Or like it's an actual location? I don't know. I never quite understood it. It always felt like it was a separate plane. But that feels weird because it's where the... Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred triforce. Uh, it seems just because he had black armor. 
Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Thou, your valiant, though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. I always thought this was rude. Yes, I will pass away, but do not grieve for me. I will have been able, I have been able to tell you of these important matters. But you're gonna die. This is Hyrule's final hope. <sighs> like, you could have just told me, dude, go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you, the stone that that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. So is he like gonna be back, waiting for you to die, to recollect the stone? Like, is that how this works? But also, why couldn't you just give me the stone and be like, yo, get out of here, I'm about to die. almost die repeatedly in your bowels. You got the Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. Cool, I got a rock. The future depends upon thee, dude. Thou art courageous. Navi the fairy, help dude to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Goodbye. I've had a lot of trees die on me in games. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, dude. Dude. Yeah. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree. One last lingering look by Navi. I feel like when I first played this, it was decently powerful, and I was like, oh, that's fucked up. I think that's why I was upset, because I was like, I put in all that work. What, Mido? Hey, dude, what did you do? The great Deku Tree, did he, did he die? How could you do this, do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Sorry, I forgot what accent I gave Mido. Sure, Mido, it's my fault. I'm so glad it's nice to live in whatever universe you live in, where you can just blatantly make those decisions and think those things about people. It's cool. Uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go get a thing. Because there's a thing you can do. Now you have... Slingshot. Oh, see? This is the Navi thing. Great Deku Tree wanted us to go to visit the princess at Hyrule Castle. Shouldn't we get going? Yeah, 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 sure. I got. I'm gonna get a thing real quick. Don't worry. I gotta see a guy about a thing. Let's see a man about a horse. Ah! Actually, the horse is later, but we'll get there. Actually, I could see the man about the horse sooner than later. But uh, right, let's see if I can get this right. atmospheric effect that just lingers there because everything's paused. Cool, you're great. You score three perfect bullseyes. He's so good. I have to give you a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Mm, a Deku Seed Bullet Bag. Well, the 40 slingshot bullets. Yeah. More, more potential property damage. Hell yeah. Alright, let's make dial this in again. Yeah. No, 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 does it care anymore? No, okay. All right, I <clears throat> thought maybe it, it did. All right, so fun thing about the Lost Woods is if you go through the wrong tree, it poops you back where you came in, so that's nice. I'm gonna try and get... Oh, I forgot I could get up here. <laughs> Oh, oh well. Chop a couple of rings. Alright. 
I got my bigger bag, and I can buy more rocks later. And before I leave the Deku Forest, because when you tried to come over here uh, beforehand, this person would stop and be like, Yo, if you leave the forest, you die! Because, like, Lost Boys situation. But once you murder the Deku Tree, according to Mido, uh, he opens up and is like, well, I guess you should die now, because that's what's going to happen. We're going to go through that next session, next game, and we'll see what happens there, because spoilers, there's a cutscene. Um, as always, thank you to Doomsayer, Yev Yev, Nomad, and Backblaze for helping keep this going, letting us have fun as a crew, and thank you, of course, for supporting the channels, watching, enjoying, engaging, let people on the internet know that you're having fun, comment in the thing, tweet us, add us. We love it. All engagement is good engagement. Thanks. Bye-bye.